how to create a psychedelic pattern swatch in Adobe Illustrator. So even though this psychedelic pattern looks really complicated, it's actually really really simple to do. But before we start drawing, we need to activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. From here we need to select the pen tool and start drawing from one of these crosshairs right here. Put down an anchor point, then go two squares to the right and two squares up. Then go two squares down and two squares to the right. Complete the triangle. Now pick the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and place the duplication just to the right of the original. Now repeat this step one time using CTRL D, select all three triangles, hold down the ALT key to duplicate again and drag the copy of the triangles down below the originals. Then hold down the SHIFT key and rotate these triangles 180 degrees. Then place the triangles in the middle of the originals. So now we have our zigzag pattern, but we need to merge some of these triangles together. So select the two first triangles, go down to the Pathfinder panel once again and click Unite. Then select the next two and unite these as well. Do the same thing with the last triangles. So now we have three zigzag shapes. Now select all shapes, select the stroke and disable the stroke. And then we can color the shapes. So select the fill, select the first and the last shape and give these a color. And to achieve the best psychedelic effect, choose some very bright colors. If you want my exact color scheme, you can get the hex codes right here. Then choose the middle shape and give this one a color as well. So here we have our shapes, but we need to turn these shapes into a seamless pattern swatch. So we need to cut out a repeatable part of this pattern. To do this, select the rectangle tool and start drawing a rectangle from this point right here and all the way to this point right here. Then pick the selection tool, select all shapes, go to the Pathfinder panel once again and click crop. Now we cropped out this pattern and as you can see if I duplicate it, we can repeat it like this. So now we need to create the actual pattern swatch. And before doing this, hold down the shift key and rotate this pattern 90 degrees. And while holding down the shift key again, we can scale it a little bit down. So to create the pattern swatch, go to object, go to pattern and go to make. And here we can see that the pattern repeats up and down, but we need to change the tile type a little bit to get the desired effect. So go to grid and go to brick by column, then go to brick offset and select 1 fourth. Then click done. Now we can delete this shape, go to view and hide the grid so it's easier to see the pattern. Then draw a rectangle or whatever shape you like. Select the pattern and while having this pattern selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. And for the background color, we want to use this pink color right here. 